Do you know something? Stephen Hawking said that if someone tells you to be perfect at something, then tell them without imperfections, neither me, nor you, nor the apples, nor the soul in the world should exist. From rocks to rockets, bugs to birds, whales to waves, we all came from one tiny atom of hydrogen, speeding trains to falling elevators, moving clocks to clouds to compass. Every single thing that surrounds us makes us curious. Great scientist Albert Einstein once said, I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. I agree with him. And should I tell you something? The love and curiosity for everything around us can keep us entertained for hours. And in my case, it led to inventions. Well, yeah, I call them inventions. My parents call them frugal inventions. My friends think those are funny and enjoy playing with them. For example, my Avenger Cleaner. It does a good job and saves my mom's effort. The Avenger Cleaner. This little nose pill spoon for clumsy kids like me and grandparents with shaky, cold, trembly hands. The nose pill spoon. You press the dropper, dip it in the soup, leave the dropper, the soup is in it, you don't have to worry about spilling, see, and you just drink it with pressing on it. And do you know something? All these things help me learn science, which in turn help me at tennis, football, swimming. You're wondering how, right? Well, here's how. I used to wonder why my forehand is better than my backhand? Then I discovered it's the third law of motion by Sir Isaac Newton. For any action, there's equal and opposite reaction. On the other hand, while playing football, I understood it's the second law of motion. The force on an object is equal to the mass of an object multiplied by its acceleration. Now, what I'm trying to tell you here is that being curious leads to learning a lot of things and makes studies more fun. My love for dinosaurs made me complete a whole basic paleontology course from Hong Kong University and made me develop a dinosaur board game. My love for games made me learn coding and it further led me making, developing a board game to learn coding. My love for books and history made me write a book, The Birth of Earth. Our thoughts are just like Rube Goldberg's machines, an amalgamation of simple machines or thoughts where one thing leads to another. But sadly, when we start to do a lot of things at the same time, we are called the jack of all trades and master of none. By doing so, we are stopping ourselves from being polymath. My question is, why can't we master everything and be everything? In this world around us, there are teachers who are excellent drivers and cooks. There are chefs who are excellent dancers. There are doctors who are excellent singers. For the love and curiosity for everything around us, let's not stop learning ever. This is my theory of everything. I believe everyone has their own theory of everything. Find your theory of everything. Let's be curious forever. Let's not call the polymath the Jack and Jill of portraits. Because who knows? Jill might be the next big inventor, a coder, a dancer, and a hairstylist. So, vamos amigos. Let's explore to infinity and beyond. Thank you.